Welcome to the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, uh, Pistols Editions, and we're starting off with Jacobs, because, one, they're my favorite pistols, and two, I have a lot to say about them. Uh, Jacobs pistols are, uh, they have high damage, high fire rate, although you have to pull the trigger for each shot, so that depend the fire rate depends on you. Um, high recoil, low magazine, fast reload, and an additional 25% Type B crit bonus. So you can see, oh, whoops, Unforgiven. Bad example. You can see how fast you can empty that out. And actually keep a lot of them on crit. Although it uh, takes some, uh, takes some management. That was a pretty bad one. But you can see how fast you can blow through that. Now, with Jacobs, they say fire as fast as you can pull that trigger, but that's up to the fire rate listed on the card. So that's a little deceiving. So the gun we're going to start with here, the Unforgiven, is one of those examples. And also, I don't know why they did this on so many of the first uh, pearls, but uh, no skin. It's kind of boring. And they sh this gun should have looked cool. Uh, the Unforgivens were some of the best pistols in the first Borderlands game, which makes this one a little bit worse because it's not very good. So, the Unforgiven has increased damage a good amount, but you're going from that fast fire rate you just saw down to a 1.9 and a little more accuracy. Uh, you also have an increased critical multiplier on there. So you can see 1.6 million there. And this is OP8, so there's damage reduction. Most of these I've done in 72, so you don't see the damage reduction, but that's fine. So this here, so 757. So you can see you're doing over double the damage, but the problem is this is as fast as I can pull the trigger. It's really slow, and it doesn't necessarily have, especially in OP8, that one-shot, one-kill stopping power uh, much more than slagged trash mobs. And that's the problem with this gun. They either did not increase the damage enough, or they did not increase the, the critical hit multiplier enough. I don't know if they wanted this to be a sniper of a pistol, with that kind of slow fire rate and... Uh, slow fire rate and high power, high crit, but it doesn't have sniper crit. It doesn't have sniper base damage. And that's the problem. It just does less than a sniper, but it kind of has sniper uh, fire rate. In fact, it doesn't even have it, because a muckamuck's got like a 3.1 fire rate. So you have... Uh, this pistol just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I love the concept of these pistols. Now, when a lot of people discuss these pistols, and there is also the Rex. And you know, I should actually do the Rex before I do... No, get these in a little order. I'm going to go out of order here. I'm going to do the Rex with this. So you, the Rex is blue, and the Rex is based off of a blue iron, not a purple. And the Rex has even slower fire rate. It's got a smaller critical hit multiplier, although it does, still does have an increased critical hit multiplier. And it has, just, you can see bigger base damage, but a slower fire rate and slower reload, I believe, compared to the Unforgiven. Yeah. And also one less than the Meg. But the Rex, well, also, I should note that it has a badass, awesome hammerlock skin. You see that HL there? I'll put that right up there. I think this gun looks freaking cool. So anyways, let's uh so 1.667 1. Point, okay, so it does slightly less. Um but because of the way it works, you can actually get it to do more when you put skills into it. And even though it's slower, I find it to be better. And it more embraces what these guns should be. Now again, compared to this, you can see everything is slowed down, but that damage, even with a blade on it, is really big. 
And uh, I'll definitely bring these into Lynchwood to kind of show you and test them. But uh, I think the Bowie embraces it better than the Unforgiven, and that's kind of sad that the Unforgiven is a pearl. So I quite, uh, I, I do like the Rex. How are you saying Bowie? The Bowie Rex, it's Rex. Um, I think the Rex better embraces this, and I like this concept as uh, a pistol class. And they, I think they did a little better in the pre-sequel, the Luck Cannon, all that kind of has that money shot thing to it. I, I wish they did one of these guns, but just got the stats right. Even if it was like the Luck Cannon, it was just one shot reload, one shot reload. Um, and they made the damage worth it, I think that'd be cool. But uh, both these guns kind of failed at that, to be honest. And you don't see a lot of people using them for a reason, and that reason is they're not very great. Um, and it's kind of sad, because I love Jacob's pistols, but these ones just don't quite live up to where they should be. You know, I'm just going to quick turn on my bar and uh, see what that does to him here. So, 2.7 million. 3.1. So you can see there, once you start putting some stats on them, 2.7. 3.1. The Rex comes out ahead for that one-shot damage, and it's still slow. You see, this is as fast as I can pull the trigger. But for the concept of what those guns are, now I can shoot the Unforgiven quite a bit faster, especially because I have fire rate in that bar, and I have high bar. But it's still slow, where this kind of starts to get there where it's going to have that stopping power that you need. So, those are these guns. Whoops, that's not the one I meant to drop. Um, you know, they're both... Yeah, I'm going to be honest. They're both disappointments, but uh, I still have a soft spot for them. So next, I'll do some Jacob's Barrels. More Jacob's Barrels. So next, we have the Maggie, which, once again, they gave a cool skin. I dig that purple look. And this one is like your mashers from Borderlands 1, but with a lot higher recoil. So this, you see you have reduced damage per pellet, but overall you're going to have a lot higher damage, because you, you got 673 on the iron. This you have 203, but times 6 is a lot higher overall damage. Uh, the lowered accuracy is really because there's a spread on it. So this one... 1.36. Oh, that didn't hit many. So when you land them all, it's doing almost double damage. And the Maggie, unlike the other ones, does not have... Uh, reduce fire rate. So you can just spam out a lot of bullets here and keep quite a bit on crit. And that was with a mouse. It's a little easier to fire with a mouse faster than a controller, but this is with a controller. So it's not like you can't spam them off as fast or pretty fast with a controller. That was a bad example. But uh, yeah. The Maggie is a damn good gun. It's incredibly fast. It's incredibly powerful. This is the hand cannon that it should be. And you can see once again, stat-wise, it all makes sense. The Greed here... Now, the Greed's lower damage isn't necessarily as a penalty. Whenever you have an element compared to a non-element, you have less damage. That's kind of the trade-off. So I don't know if it has more than that. I guess I could do the math. I haven't done that. But uh, yeah, you have upped fire rate on the greed. You can match elements, um, but a slower reload. So it's kind of weird on the stats. It's not quite a straight transfer over, but it's close. So the greed here. Also, the greed doesn't can't span, uh, spawn with a scope. So you can see here, you get normal movement speed 
while you are scoped in, which is kind of cool. There's only a few guns that do this. So you got 936 there. 673. So you can see this does more because and I can't really shoot it faster than the Maggie. You should be able to, but that's about as fast as my fingers go. I'm not spunky. But yeah, it's pretty easy to keep on target. It can do a lot of damage because you are matching elements. You still have that Jacob's Crit Multiplier. So, well, I guess... And it does even do more than a purple iron. Because this on crit, 7. So on flesh, it does do more than a purple iron, and it's blue. So that's a pretty good thing. I wish they would have left the other stats alone. Um... I mean, the accuracy 1%, I don't think anyone's going to notice. I don't think many people can get past that 11.5, so I wish they would have left the reload at 1.7 and left the, the left that, just lower the damage slightly to give it fire, and that's good enough for me, I think. But it's a pretty good gun. Don't really have complaints with it. Um, it's just, it's not amazing, it's just good. You know, it's one of those. Why do I have these sort of like that? Alright. There we go. So next I've got the Judge. And the Bowie. Or the the Law. I keep saying Bowie because that's the prefix on these. I don't know why. Alright, I'll just get these out of the way there. So, the Judge is one of the assassin guns has an increased critical hit modifier and it's a TDR barrel and that's the problem with this one the stats are exactly the same all they did is give it a crit modifier which is good but it's a blue T it's blue and it's got a TDR barrel so you can see that's still just kinda slightly around but less what a purple iron would do with a Jacobs barrel and then this is 558. So it's better. It's just, why do they have to give it a TDR barrel? It's probably the worst barrel you can put on a Jacob's pistol. This would have been cool with a doll barrel, like the law behind it, because a uh, doll reduces the recoil and doesn't reduce the damage as much. In fact, I'll just compare it to... Uh... Actually, never mind. The doll does reduce damage a little bit more, but uh, it keeps it on target better. Because you have less recoil with a doll. So yeah, the Bowie is just... Yeah, I don't know, it's a TDR barrel. That's the problem. And it kind of just looks silly. I mean, I guess the short barrel kind of looks interesting, but uh, I don't know. I dig the paint job on it. It's just kind of meh. And then you have the law. And the law has increased damage, increased accuracy, and 100% melee. It's one of the two guns with a melee increase. So this here, 670. So it still does less than that, obviously. It doesn't have that crit modifier. But you can see here with the doll what I was talking about that reduced recoil. Here, I'll go with the mouse here. And Although I didn't hit any of those. It just doesn't move around very much compared to the other ones. I don't know why I don't have a sight on that. I guess I didn't put it on there, so it's kind of a little bit hard to compare without a sight. But, uh... Yeah, it's kind of nice that they gave it that good damage increase, because that is... <laughs> that's a hail. There we go. It is a good damage increase there. Um, especially for a melee gun, so it's actually decent to shoot as well. So the law is very cool, and with the law and order combo, you heal for the uh, melee damage you do with them, which is also very awesome. Um, you don't get like the moxie healing, where you can throw grenades and stuff, but you do heal off the melee damage.
So the Law and Order is a cool combo. Just odd that you get them at such different levels in a normal and true Vault Hunter mode unless you wait till you finish. So that's uh, Jacob's Pistols. There's no real great ones. There's... There's some good ones. Uh, you know, the Maggie's obviously awesome. Uh, the Greed is pretty solid. The Law combined with the Order is pretty awesome for melee characters. But other than that, they kind of missed the boat here. Um, you know, they definitely screwed up the Rex and the Unforgiven. And they, for some reason, gave us a Tidor Barrel one, which I still just don't get that. So not, not too great. Um, for my favorite brand of pistols, the red text kind of let me down. And that's a little bit sad. But uh, I will go bring these in Lynchwood, because I think it's appropriate to go uh, fight in a western town with uh, western style pistols. And that should be fun. So thanks for watching. You guys should uh, come over to Thread if you have not yet done that. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done that. I appreciate that as well. And I will see everyone later. Thanks. Bye.